What's going on you guys? GMBS Hothead here. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install the simple training. This training here is uh, kind of like the Lambda menu that I taught you guys how to install earlier. If you guys uh, don't like that one, you guys haven't seen that one, uh, you know, if you haven't seen it, I re recommend go checking it out. If you guys don't like it, this one here is, uh, I mean, it's a more advanced one. You can do a lot more with this one, but it's also a lot more complicated to use, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how to install this. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is, let's go ahead and pull it up here. You're gonna, I'm going to give you guys a link to this website where you can download it. And you're going to download the simple trainer for GTA 5. And then whatever the version is, right now it's in 7.5. And then here's a little uh, screenshot of what it'll look like. We can do some stuff with it, which is pretty cool. And we're going to go ahead and close out of that. So you click the download button here, the green download button, of course. And then you're going to hit download again. And then you'll see save, and you can save it to your desktop or wherever. I already have it saved though, so close. And you're going to see it right here, I have it highlighted, called Simple Trainer. Uh, yours may not be called that, but, you know, that's whatever. That I just renamed mine. I do believe I renamed it anyways. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. Close out of this file. You're also going to need WinRAR. Um, so yeah, what you're going to see is you're going to see the reference, the README, and the changes. Don't worry about those. Those can die, I guess. Um. What you're going to be focused on is the trainer.ini and the trainerv.asi. Those are the two files that you're going to need, which are right here. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and... Oops, that's the wrong thing. You're going to want to go ahead and open up your files. I have a folder for 5M. And you're going to go ahead and open up the 5M application data. Uh, there is a bunch of stuff here that you guys may not have. These are just for shaders and other things to enhance my graphics. Um, the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to, if you don't already have one, you're going to want to create a folder, name it plugins, all lowercase. And then inside of there, you're going to want to put the trainer5.ini and .asi. Because if I click on this here, I can show you guys properties. And you're going to see that it is a .ini file. And so you're just going to drag and drop these two here, which I already have, as you guys can see. But you just drag and drop them in there. And I also have my Lambda menu in there. But, uh, yeah. And then you'll know that it works because when you restart your 5M, which I'll go in here, you're going to go ahead and hit F3 or F4. It's going to be one of the two. You can see it in the top left-hand corner of my screen. You'll see, uh, you'll see it there. Uh, I did take and change my presets on it, though. Like you can go to set menu and font and you can change all of these here. Like I'll go ahead and make this like a dark green and then you can see that it just changed that. And I'm going to go back to my sky. Ooh, I actually kind of like that turquoise. I'm going to go with that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. That looks good. Okay. And then down here you can actually display that so there is a background and stuff. And you can change up all of those colors, and it's really nice. Uh, you can do some simple tasks, such as vehicle spawning. Like here, I'll go ahead and spawn in... Uh, what's a cool car? Johnny. Well, then I'm in a Discord call right now with others. Uh, I don't know any cool cars off the top of my head. You know what? Screw it. We'll go with the... We'll get there. And it said it spawned. Okay, well... Sometimes you have to do it twice. And let's see if it spawns in that time. Why is this not working? Of all times. Silver Auto 2. Why is this not working? Bobcat XL. Something. Spawn in something, please. What? Okay, so it's actually bugging out right now. That is beautiful. Oh, there we go. See, you can spawn in stuff. I don't know why it's bugging out, but it was. As you guys can see, we do have, or it will spawn in stuff. Uh, the other thing that kind of sucks is uh, text chat sits right on top of where the menu is. And that's kind of annoying. But 
Uh, you can do much more, such as teleporting. You can change the time, weapons, weather. You can do vehicle options. And then there's, you got your regular options and stuff, such as like fast run, no cars, no civs, that kind of stuff. Uh, some other things you can do is you can take here and object spawning, attach objects, menu, attach vehicles, and you can actually attach vehicles to each other, which will be in a s separate video, uh, and I will teach you guys how to do that later on. But yeah, so that's how you install it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to smack that like button, subscribe if you're new, hit the post notification bell because, you know, it's always good to know when I uh, upload because recently I have not been uploading. Actually, I don't think I've ever really uploaded on a schedule. There's been like a week.